so what is a jar do you know what is a jar yes what is a jar what is the use of jar yeah jar means to you run to your program okay hmm. after that whole thing is combined in jar okay so this is to call is a package like that hmm. yeah means to if you write a multiple program or there are multiple file in your program so that co- combination of all thing is a jar and okay so yeah yeah um, code yeah yeah take a code extraction oh uh, where exactly you will you will use uh, enumeration you uh, do, can you give any example enumeration yeah enums enumerations enum you call them in short enumeration where can you use this? they are they are constant i will give you the hint they are constant yeah. yes yes constant uh, they provide just some no, number to you like that. yeah no. so like uh, we uh, we create a enum class and okay. by default that is public static final so that means every variable created inside that will be uh, uh, constant yes yes there is a constant okay yeah so we use them with the fixed things fixed things like suppose in our code we are using uh, days okay sunday monday tuesday wednesday yeah so yes we go for enums so we can choose enums and uh, uh, instead of creating a string and then uh, using that again and again and that string uh, the code can be modified so instead of that we can we can go for enums okay yeah okay Means, yeah if you want to means bundle of data store as a constant so that can be there yeah yeah uh, got it yeah okay so uh, have you like using any kind of uh, framework uh spring spring boot and i have not i use that spring spring boot and hibernate hibernate yeah so uh, like uh, we'll go for that uh in some time but uh, okay uh let's just uh, go for collection framework like collections uh, have you used collections in your uh, programming Do yes you yes mm-hmm. have you studied that yes yes so can you tell me what is a hash set what you will store i mean what is the features of a hash hash set yeah uh, hash set is a feature is that means uh, you can store, you can you cannot add duplicate data in it yeah okay yeah uh, and uh, you can uh, not add null value also mm. yes and the, the order is not preserved in that means that is a decision feature i don't i don't know but the order is not preserved mm. okay yeah uh, so that and uh, as set it means uh, if you add the data in in the that has set that cannot in the hash code also, firstly and then map to the uh, your bucket in okay okay so yeah. suppose i want to store key value pairs okay and uh, yeah. i also want to assure that uh, only one thread can access in that uh, whenever i am trying to fetch and trying to store the uh values in in the key value pair structures i want okay. to that to be synchronized that means only one thread can be access that in which data structure i will go for for which oh, concurrent uh, yeah concurrent hash map view that facility to me yeah correct correct and uh, uh, so what is the difference between concurrent hash map and hash table do you know about hash table Yes, hash table and hash table. So, yeah. what is the difference between these two? Oh, uh, hash table means so uh, is a non-synchronized type of data, mm. and your concurrent hash map is a synchronized. Okay. Yeah, non-synchronized. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no. Con- yeah. So, so, so yeah. Uh, sorry. Can sorry, sir. can can you repeat yourself? Yeah. Maybe. Uh, hash table is a uh, synchronized. and concurrent hash map is also synchronized yes okay but i am confusing something right yeah so there are two things one yeah. is writing the data and one is reading the data yes okay yes. so when you when you are reading the data what you will do 
so in the case of reading multiple threads can read the data in ca in the case of concurrent hash map multiple threads can read the data but in the case of writing the data or modifying the data only one thread is allowed to do that so what is the benefit of having only one thread is doing the modification and uh, uh, all the threads can read because if we allow all the threads to modify uh, the structure or the data inside that so that will be ambiguity because one thread is modifying something and another thread is reading something that will be changed in the in, in, in uh, changed by another thread so that will be ambiguity in that yes yes, yes. that's why so that's why it is uh, i mean this is the main structure of concurrent hash map Yes. Yes. Uh, in the case of only hash only. table, in the case of hash table, uh, only one thread is allowed to write, and only one thread is allowed to read also. Yeah. Okay. Only one time. So that... Yeah. So in the case of concurrent hash map, multiple threads can read, but writing is done by only one thread. Okay. And apart from that, like uh, hash table does not allow null values, not at all. In the case of yeah, concurrent hash map, it allow one null key and any number of null values. Yes, yes. Yeah, I know that hash table. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so, uh, so if you like uh, uh, read and write at the same time, in the case of hash table or in the case of hash map, you will get concurrent modification exception. Yeah, it uh, yeah. That, it, it, uh, you are editing and uh, you are like reading at the same time. Don't do that. It this exception yes. will tell you that. Yeah, concurrent hash map gives us facility facility to add uh, at uh, means iterator or iterator time there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Can you tell me what is the advantage of and advantages of Hibernate over JDBC? Advantage of Hibernate means the less code, okay. Hmm. I mean, yeah, and Java, if you use a Hibernate, you don't write uh, much code in that. Hmm. And uh, if you use the JDBC, the query is uh, uh, your database specific, you can say. Yeah. And uh, in a Hibernate, that is uh, the option to the, that in a Hibernate, your uh, query is not database. Uh, specific okay if you if you use a multiple data, database you don't need to be change every time your uh, internal structure of query or other thing okay yeah in jdbc if you change that that is the means more uh, uh, not possible to change that okay you need to do that thing manually or that thing okay yeah and uh yeah and uh, also one thing means uh i will not provide is a uh, means uh, you can say that uh, object oriented uh, like that okay for into so oriented. object related uh, object related mapping okay yeah or uh, jvc is not provide provide to the object related, related mappings okay so that is the facility of your hibernate or the advantage of your hibernate. yeah it will uh, i like it will provide the inheritance it will provide the inheritance between those objects yes. so you yes, yes yes you you can create a like for for a table for anything and it will provide a uh, provide mapping also one to one yes, yes. one to many yeah. association okay yeah so have you used that like have you used these annotations anywhere uh, like have you seen them yes Someone yes someone is using that yes hmm? yes I, I use that okay okay what is a session factory in hibernate Oh, uh, session factory is uh, yeah. This is a session factory is your means if you connect to a database that will store your object of database. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sorry. Uh, store object. Store object. Yeah. yeah means uh, they they give the connection your database. Okay. Can see this? In simple yeah. word, it is a factory. It is a factory which yeah. will provide a session. It will provide the session object. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. Sorry. so you will yeah. use that session object further uh, to do your thing things yeah to save your data or uh, yeah, yeah to save, save your data and uh, do everything oh. okay and this session factory like session object is threads f 
Yes, third shape. You can use use this uh, in all the uh, used by all the threads of your application. Yes. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Have you like? Uh, do you know anything about caching or cascading in Hibernate? Caching and cascading. So oh, cascading is for if you want to store the data. Oh, is the, there are multiple tables? Okay, related table. If you want to at a at one single uh, save method, so that is the cost cascading. Hmm. Yeah. Yes. And what about caching? Oh, uh, caching. Yeah. Okay. Uh, caching is um, uh, means the store uh, your data. Uh, if, if like like take an example. Okay. Uh, Session yeah, catching that type of uh, means uh, they store your data in a cache, cache like that. Cache, um, okay. So it will yeah. store. So if you, yeah, you can yeah. use that cache. Uh, so, uh, so what what is the benefit of having data in the cache in the case of Hibernate? Data in the cache, uh, means like the if you if you use their save method, like okay. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. So and uh, yeah okay okay, okay. if you Hello? have if you have cache so okay. you so how you will get data in, in the case of hibernate you will get the data from the database right so you will yes. so your code will connect to the database and then uh, it will fetch the data from the database okay so yeah. connecting to the database and then fetching ex, uh, like executing the query then fetching the data then giving uh, it back to you this whole process take a lot of memory okay so yes. that's why yeah. what, what we do we use cache so cache what what uh, in the case of cache what you will do the, so first time you fetch something you fetch the list of uh, students from from your code yeah. So again, yeah, so first, again, yeah. if you need yeah, that list, this. yeah, again, if you need that list, you don't go to the database again. You have the data yes. in your cache, and if you have the data in your cache, you will get that uh, give that data back to the user. You won't, yes. uh, you don't go to the database again. You don't create the connection uh, again, and then uh, execute the query again, and then fetch the data from the database again. So it will save a lot of memory so that's why we use cache so there are two types of cache first level cache and second level cache so first yes. level cache is uh, by default provided by hibernate you don't need to do anything about uh, for that no okay and second level cache is uh, it's, it's like it's it's not provided by hibernate i mean you need to add some libraries and something you need to do in your code adding those libraries and manual configuration has been done so then it will be activated so it will be a yes. session level cache cache so yes session level yeah cache. session yeah. level cache means uh, it will be shared the data will be shared by all the session so earlier the first level cache was only the session level and then the second level was uh, shared by all the sessions so yeah. if you create if you create another session that will also have the data if you are using second level cache then that will also have that data which you fetched earlier yeah yes. if i give you a scenario to write a code for me i okay. mean uh, not exactly right but you can tell me the logic for that how you will do okay. that can you do yeah. that for me yes yes so you have a string string called uh, i love my country okay okay so, yeah so you need to count number of vowels and cons consonants in the that given string okay number of vowels and uh, vowels and consonants okay so how you will so, do that yeah you can use uh, firstly the just a uh, for loop so uh, iterator okay hmm. yes and one thing and one thing, after that you uh, you block there okay hmm. so there are uh, you, uh, you present means you uh, uh, you need a like a, a equal to one or means e is equal to one like that or uh, just uh, how many co constant uh, means the, or uh, uh, vowels in that number of counts 
yeah only number of counts okay now yeah. so, so you you in the in a you block you write to a um, so the if like yeah is a okay so a of uh, i equal to a like that okay in a parallel a, a of i is equal to e o i u like that okay you writing a block uh, just yeah, yeah and I, uh, sorry to interrupt you i i want okay. my output is something like that uh, like uh, the output will be number of vowels is equal to 5 and number of consonant is equal to uh, Uh, whatever the number of consonant in that yeah yeah that's, uh, that's yeah. the output i need so okay, you need okay. to tell me the logic behind that uh, you don't need to uh, tell me uh, how how many objects you will create and how you will write the entire method you just need to tell me the logic yeah uh, yeah okay firstly do it it read your string okay mm -hmm. it, then you compare uh, means like uh, your first character compare with your vowels okay mm -hmm. uh, how many were five vowels and then uh, if there are find means uh, found then you means uh, uh, count is plus, plus okay you can increase your count okay mm. and after that you, after uh, you know means uh, if that not find uh, if not a found in the if statement or you can say that not a vowels okay mm. so you you also uh, you increase your another counter okay mm. that for constants yeah just just to go yeah Okay, so uh, like, uh, do you know anything about uh, design patterns? Mm, I I don't know much more about that. What okay, uh, no prototype like? No problem. No problem. So uh, I think uh, I have done from my side. Uh, do you have any questions? Anything you want to ask or discuss?